As we told you in the previous video, McGregor is preparing for the next fight in the UFC and cannot wait until it happens. And there were a lot of reports regarding McGregor versus Usman for the 170 pound title fight next. However, Dana White came out and denied that. UFC president opened up about this situation and revealed that McGregor versus Chandler is very close to happening soon. Surprisingly enough, Dana White even gave a date for this fight, which is a very interesting story, so let's explain it. In a recent interview with TMZ Sports, the UFC president Dana White gave a hint about Conor's return, and not only that, but he even mentioned the name of his next potential opponent. Ever since McGregor broke his leg against Poirier, knowing how difficult it is to recover after such a horrible injury, we were all skeptical about his return. Whenever Dana White was asked about Conor's return, he would always have two answers at his disposal. He would either say that Conor is retired and we don't know if he is ever coming back, or that he is recovering from his injury and the date of his return is uncertain. However, in a recent interview for TMZ Sports, the UFC president changed his tune and gave a huge hint about Conor's opponent for his UFC return. When TMZ asked if Conor would fight Jorge Masvidal, Dana answered that he really likes the idea of Conor McGregor versus Michael Chandler next, rather stating that it makes a lot of sense right now. Now this is a huge hint and most probably the fight to make for the near future. If in the past, Dana would dismiss any question regarding Connor's return, this time not only did he confirm the return of the Notorious One, but he even named the opponent, Michael Chandler. Speaking of a return date, according to well-known journalist in the sport, Ariel Helwani, we might not see the Irishman back in the octagon earlier than the beginning of 2023. Here is what he had to say. The last I heard, by the way, is that Connor might come back in February, March, or something like that, mentioned Helwani for the MMA Hour program. Whether by the end of this year or next, we are finally getting somewhere, and the rumors regarding McGregor's retirement are off the table. And Michael Chandler signing with the UFC was probably one of the best decisions of his life. All of his four UFC fights have been absolute wars, and even though he lost two of them, those fights were so close that they could easily go either way. In his most recent fight against the boogeyman of the lightweight division, Tony Ferguson, after knocking him out with a front kick to the chin, Michael Chandler had all the right to do the callout that he wants. Being as entertaining on the microphone as in the octagon, Chandler had no hesitation calling McGregor out. Conor McGregor, you've got to come back and fight somebody. I am the most entertaining lightweight on the planet, but I want to up the stakes, Conor. I want you at your biggest. I want you at your baddest, and I want you at your best. You and me at 170 this summer, this fall, this winter. Holler at your boy. Those were the exact words of Chandler after brutalizing Tony Ferguson just moments before. Right after the callout, McGregor tweeted that he likes the idea, responding in a respectful way, which is kind of unlikely for him. I'd have a nice knock off this guy, no doubt about it, a firework spectacle. I like the 170 shout also, was the tweet that McGregor posted in a response to that. Seems that all those callouts aged well, and this fight is now closer than ever, which leads to the question, who has a better chance of winning? Many people would count McGregor out due to his inactivity and also given the argument that he is past his prime, but is he? Yes, he is on a losing streak, but does that really mean he is over the hill and not able to compete with the best? Let's take a look at who he has lost against. Habib Nurmagomedov and Dustin Poirier, two of the best lightweights of all time. There is no shame in losing to those monsters, and losing to them definitely doesn't mean that someone is over his prime. Stylistically speaking, Michael Chandler is maybe the most winnable match for Conor out of all the other fighters ranked in the top five list. If this fight truly does happen, there is no doubt that McGregor would call Chandler a slappy wrestler with an overhand right. The problem here is that Chandler is not only a great wrestler, but a fighter who can turn your lights off at any time. Watching the previous four UFC fights, Chandler did not try to wrestle, but rather stand and bang, delivering wars and fights for the ages. In his possible matchup against Conor, his best chance to win is to mix his striking with wrestling. But judging by his previous bouts, it's highly unlikely that we will see Chandler playing safe by using his wrestling against the Notorious One. Also, Chandler always likes to say that he is not here for a long time, but for a good time, meaning he is always here to deliver a show and scream at fans afterward, are you not entertained? The most likely scenario is that Chandler would try to beat Conor on the feet, throwing bombs trying to deliver that big right at Conor's chin, and with that turning into a superstar overnight. Just imagine what it would mean for Chandler to knock McGregor out, defeating him in his own world. There is a lot to gain, but the question is, is it worth the risk? 
Connor, on the other hand, is the best counterpuncher in the division. If Chandler does what he always does, throwing a big right hand, extending his body in the process, Connor can easily counter that and deliver a straight left to his chin, knocking him out cold. Now, he has been knocked out before, and it can happen again, especially against a knockout artist like McGregor. Again, it all comes to the question, how would Chandler approach this fight? Would he take the risk and keep the action on the feet, or mix it up with his superior wrestling, capitalizing on McGregor's tiredness? The thing is, even if he tries that, there is still a big chance that he won't succeed. Take, for example, Connor's fight against wrestlers like Chad Mendez and Eddie Alvarez and how those fights ended for them. Connor is dealing with wrestlers all his life, and someone trying to take him down won't be anything new for him. He is also faster and more fluid on the feet, and overall the more superior striker than Chandler. They both possess the one-punch knockout power, but McGregor also has the height and reach advantage. Combine that with his speed and precision, and this is truly a bad matchup for Chandler, and one of the most winnable fights for Connor's return. At the end of the day, whoever wins this fight, this could very likely be an open door for the next title contender against the uncrowded champ, Charles Oliveira. So what is happening? I'm very interested in what you guys think about this, so comment your thoughts, and if you liked the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps grow the channel.